Hi, my name's River. I'm a student at Brandeis University, and I was wondering what the purpose of the appendix is. I'm John Williams. I'm a gastroenterologist with UW Health. For decades, uh, scientists and physicians have believed that it really doesn't have a function in human beings, that it's vestigial. It at one point had a function in some uh, living thing earlier on, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of years ago, and it's something that has, uh, that has persisted in humans but really doesn't have a defined purpose. That's been the thinking for probably at least 50 to 100 years. Um, and that's a lot, a lot of common sense would back that up. 7% of the American population have had their appendix removed due to infection uh, or rarely tumors, and those people typically do fine. Research has suggested that there may be a function to the appendix possibly related to the natural bacteria that inhabit our, uh, our intestine. After a very severe bacterial infection that causes diarrhea, uh, known as dysentery, which is not common in the United States, but in less developed nations it, it uh, is more common, it's been postulated that um, this bacteria, the, the good bacteria, can then be repopulated into the, the intestine uh, because it's housed in the, in the appendix after that infection clears. There's probably also a, a lymphatic or an immune function to the uh, appendix. They've seen these white blood cells and other types of immune uh, uh, cells in, there, in the appendix. And we have seen that sometimes when people take or get their uh, appendix removed, they are at increased risk for Crohn's disease, which is, a, uh, which is an autoimmune condition of the bowel. When people develop appendicitis, they really haven't done anything bad to themselves to get that. It's a kind of a bad break. So, so uh, there, is, there isn't really a preventive medicine or some healthy living to promote your appendix. I wish there was.